Hi, John Wakefield for Tucson Crystal and China Repair. We're a division of Artistry and Glass and we've been in business since 1986 in Midtown Tucson. In that period, we've been fortunate enough to receive a large number of generous testimonials from our happy customers. Now here's an interesting quiz. What do these uh, four people have in common? They're cleaning ladies, moving men, small children, and domestic pets. And the answer is, these are the chief culprits for most breakages of glass and crystal around the home. More important even than earthquakes and floods. Now at Artistry and Glass, Two Sunshine and Crystal Repair, we repair crystal, glassware, serveware, examples of Swarovski crystal figurines, art glass vases, depression glass, cut crystal, china and porcelain figurines, art pottery, serveware. Serveware, it's important to notice, is only suitable for being display pieces. You cannot use it after it's repaired. We repair ivory, jade, wooden masks, we do gold leafing, enamel work. We repair dolls, tiles, clock faces. We repair uh, uh, marble, stone, jade. We repair all sorts of art glass, including stained, leaded, and beveled glass. And we also repair etched glass and uh, decorative mirrors. And finally, Tiffany lamps, bent glass lampshades, and all sorts of art glass lamps. Here's some examples of the work that we've done. This first one is a large statue donated to the Medical Center in Scottsdale that was busted on installation. Very important to get this thing fixed. Here's a small, exquisite Iranian or Persian perfume bottle with a gilded painting that we invisibly restored. And the next one here is a Limoges chocolate pot with a beautiful organic handle that we completely fabricated and replaced. Here is a more prosaic item, a planter made of terracotta, which was of particular sentimental value to the customer. And here's a very typical example of Yadro repair. These are rather top heavy and very often get broken, losing their heads and their arms. Here's a third example of a uh, type of gilding that we do. We actually created this Tutankhamun face mask, including the jeweled uh, necklace using stained glass. And here's a Mexican uh, bug pot, a beautiful piece of folk art with mantis and butterflies and beetles. Now one way to protect your crystal and glassware is by using glass display cases. And this example is a commercial one where we made cases for the famous Krikoa jewelry store on Congress in downtown Tucson. Now these three foot long display cases feature seamless construction to allow maximum visibility of the, of the merchandise with access from the back. Another large uh, commercial job that we recently completed was at the Michael Coors store at Lion Cantada in Tucson where we repaired this beautiful large vitrine or glass display case. Now we also make custom boxes to protect your items in a residential setting. In this case, on the left, a kachina, a delicate kachina, and here an award for the United Arab Emirates, both featuring this frameless glass construction. Now the two commonest questions we are asked in connection with repairs are, how much will it cost? And a related question, is it worth fixing? Now the only way really to find out how much it's going to cost is for you to bring the item in. We cannot give any firm repair estimates over the telephone or even from photos. The fact that a treasured item belonged to your great-great-grandmother and came over on the Titanic and there was then involved in an earthquake in California, all these biographical details are totally irrelevant because the cost depends on a large number of factors. Amongst these factors are the customer's expectation, the degree of perfection required. Do you need an invisible repair or merely stabilization of the damage? Are there missing pieces, fingers and hands, etc., that have to be fabricated? Is there adhesive that has to be removed? Do we need to fill chips, do airbrush painting or even gilding? These and many other factors require a face-to-face -face conversation to determine the cost. The second important question which arises is, is the item worth fixing? 
and the fact is that any valuable piece of crystal or porcelain that's damaged, cracked or broken has lost most of its value. But there are some cases where repair is economically feasible. In these Waterford Lisbon glasses, providing there are no cracks in the glass which cannot be repaired, we can easily grind down chips and make the glass almost as good as new but slightly shorter. Now another occasion where repair is feasible is in this practical situation where a beautiful Talavera sink was broken by a careless plumber. Now the sink was so firmly embedded that it was impossible to remove to repair so we had to go on site and place porcelain putty in the damage, carefully glaze it and make it as good as new, avoiding the expense of removing the sink. There's an, several other cases where repairs are economically feasible and this is a case with a 2,000 year old pre-Columbrian figurine from Western Mexico, a Chinesco figure, which is actually worth about a quarter of a million dollars and was carelessly dropped by its owner. Now by restoring this we restore most of the value. There are very few figurines of this age which had not got some damage. There's a picture on the right showing the return of the figurine in the back of a vehicle. Now another example where repairs are feasible is where sentimental value is concerned. This Chinese ginger jar was not intrinsically expensive but was owned by the widow of the famous General Loris Norstad, Supreme Allied Commander of NATO. So the great sentimental value of this item made it very well worthwhile repairing. But the answer of whether it's worth fixing depends really on how much sentiment is attached to it. When someone breaks something valuable, there is such a degree of remorse and regret that it's a great value to have it fixed. So come to Tucson Crystal and China Repair, bring your items in, call 520-320-0104, or come to our website, tucsoncrystalandchinarepair.com, for more information.